each Particlon NFT comes with utility tokens inside of it. So every time you hit mint, it is the full power of a generative drop. It's aesthetically really, really freaking cool. We have the community and all of the gaming and metaverse aspects that we're building out. So there's all of that. But behind it, it's actually using charge particles and filling each one of those NFTs with a utility token that will be used within the ecosystem. So it's a it's a really, really cool use case of this new generative drop, having the tokens all containerized within that NFT from day one. And uh, I mean, ultimately, charge particles were a protocol that is meant to be built on. And, and Particlon is just a, a great example use case of what could be possible in terms of charge particles and generative drops. Welcome back everybody to Altcoin Daily. What's the deal with NFTs in 2022? There's so much building going on. There's so many huge spectrum of projects. Well, today all your questions will be answered. We are joined with friend of the channel, Ben Lakoff. He is the co-founder of Charged Particles. Do more with NFTs and also a personal friend. We know him because he hosts a Crypto Mondays, Crypto Meetup in Southern California. Ben, how are you doing today? Hey, guys. Excited to be here. Long time fan. First time, first time on here. So excited. Big time fan of you, my friend. Eventually, we'll make it to Crypto Mondays. We've met him at another Southern California Meetup. But... Crypto you know, Mondays I have, is the one. <laughs> I have a few of these friends in LA that I only see outside of LA. So, you know, we'll just have to keep this going. That's fine. Yes, yes. Before we get into it, um, would you give our audience just a little bit of background on you and then just a brief uh, introduction to charged particles? Sure. So my name is Ben Lakoff, background in finance, switched over to crypto in 2016, full-time 2017, since then have uh, built companies, sold companies, failed companies, uh, did a lot of angel investing, advising in the space, ended up uh, with charged particles in summer of 2020. Uh, so, I mean, for context, our, our Twitter handle is DeFi NFT. So long before DeFi summer or, or kind of the convergence of the two. So co-founded that with Rob Secord, who's the original founder and uh, have been building that ever since summer 2020. And what exactly is charged particles, though? Uh, yeah, I left that part out. So charged particles, <laughs> NFT protocol that enables you to take your NFT, give it a smart wallet so that NFT can hold other assets, whether they be fungible or non. Okay. And Well, just give me an example of like, why would the individual need that or want that? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, our, our vision with charged particles is any NFT existing or new should be able to hold other assets, fungible or non what this could look like. Um, gaming is a good use case. You have an NFT with interest bearing assets inside of it. Maybe the interest earn equates to more power within the game. That's one that like kind of clicks for a lot of people. One more functional use case that we've seen quite a bit of is uh, what we call vesting capsules. So this is a founder or a team perhaps raising capital. I would take the tokens that I would give to you, the investor, typically put these into a, a smart contract, a vesting contract that you would go and claim. Instead, I can just take those tokens, put them inside of the NFT, time lock it, do the vesting contract, all containerized within that NFT and give it to you on day one. So you have those tokens, you just can't pull them out, you can't dump them on the market you know, from day one. And then I'm, I'm absolved of the 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 task to send you those tokens or set up that smart contract it's all it's all structured within that nft itself so those are very different use cases one much more financial much much more gaming so that's because we're an nft protocol servicing all different types of nfts we have a very vibrant community that's poking at these different niches and exploring them out in, in a lot more detail and Charged Particles has their own generative NFT collection called Particlon. More on that later. Before we get into the weeds with all this stuff, Ben, you've been in cryptocurrency a long time. What do you, th this is 2022 now. What do you think the biggest opportunities in crypto are today? Yeah, uh, that's a good question. So is, is this targeted toward new people wanting to enter in the space? I think this is targeted to the average retail person who 
maybe, yeah, definitely who are coming in the space today, but also people who've been in it a couple years. Yeah, sure. I'd say the biggest opportunity in the space right now is just to get involved. So, I mean, it's a bit of the like drumbeat of get off zero that was happening a couple years ago. It's uh, the space is moving too quickly and becoming too big to simply ignore. And just, it's this small niche of the internet where a bunch of nerds are shooting tokens around left and right. So I'd say for, for if, if anybody's on the sidelines, it's just get involved, like start being a little bit more active on Twitter, jump into some of these discords, um, and the spectrum of what's available with crypto, um, at this point, basically everything you could ever want exists. So if you're more financially mo motivated, you're, you, you have your section. If you're more artistic, which is this broad category, whether it be a visual or music or whatever, there's also a place. And then, you know, the idea of communities and DAOs, social tokens, there, there's something, there's a flavor for everyone. So, um, yeah, I, I would just kind of reiterate that, like, get off zero um, and get involved. Obviously, I'm very biased in terms of, uh, I think NFTs are one of the more interesting places to be involved. NFTs in general, non-fungible token, it's a unique token with digital media attached to it. That is the most broad category that you could ever imagine. So, I mean, NFTs will start to eat these other um, uh, other verticals more quickly. So, it, you know, it's not just art, it's financial products, it's documents on the blockchain, it's any sort of unique aspect tied to a token. So I, th I think NFTs is a really, really fascinating place for people to get involved because of course that's such a, a, a big category. And just to get a little bit more specific on the opportunities opportunities in the crypto space, you as an angel investor, what types of opportunities have you invested in over the last six months? Uh, short answer is not many. I mean, we're, we're kind of at that phase of the, the bull market of like $100 million pre-product market fit, fit um, valuations. Uh, so... I'd say a lot of the angel investments I've done in general were um, like DAO tooling. You know, I believe DAOs will be, will be this this big thing. It's all kind of practice where we are now, but eventually they will have a, a much bigger uh, role in everything that we do. Uh, and and NFT finance related um, uh, startups. So. Um, NFTs as collateral uh, uh, options based on NFTs, th things like this, I think are, are really, really fascinating as we continue to financialize more like this category of NFTs. And before we get into charged particles and more specifically Particlon, the generative NFT collection for charged particles, still more like big picture NFT, somebody, a newer type person who still wants to get into NFTs and, you know, try and you know, get some of the opportunity in a space that's just exploding with growth. What do you think are some best practices and how to win with NFTs? Yeah, that's a that's a great question. I, I guess first, I no, I'm not going to go that way. I was going to say, yeah, what's your idea of success and what does that look like? Because that that uh, I want to make money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I, I got it. Um, I'd say um, so. So to Think about time horizons. Um, think about reputation. Like um, it, being being realistic about like you, not everything you're going to throw money into is going to 100x uh, and and print you this um, this perpetual annuity of crazy wealth. I mean, what we've seen with board apes, like uh, two hundred dollars turns into six hundred thousand dollars. Like. These are just bananas um, and they're definitely the outliers. So, you know, have realistic expectations. Um, if you're in it just for flipping JPEGs, you know, realize that there are teams and there are founders and there are people like trying to make a community out, out of this. So um, if you're flipping the the flipping those peggies, you know, maybe it's not that value additive to their community anyway. So, you know, thinking that there is people behind those projects as well. I like it. All right, Ben, Particlon, Charged Particles, where do we start? I want to truly understand what makes this project unique. Yeah, sure. So, I mean, Charged Particles, I give you a, a little overview. Um, we've 
we've been thinking about this for a long time. So uh, it was Rob Secord's idea that he was uh, nights and weekends since late 2019. We were on testnet from early 2020, um, launched on mainnet February 2021, and on Polygon shortly thereafter. So Particon, uh, Charge Particles is this malleable technology, uh, and, and we really aim to be the building blocks to enable people to take this technology, take the ability to give an NFT its own smart wallet, put things inside of it in a programmable way. All of these products that we've launched are, are just kind of examples. Our DAP is a great use case for artists that want to fill their NFT, their, their beautiful, unique work of art filled with social tokens and time lock those and, and kind of injects a bit of finance into this, uh, this normal NFT. But we've done these crazy things of having a nested nft tell a story so you have an nft with an nft inside of it with an nft inside of it all the way down it's like this russian doll inception of nfts and you can actually choose your own adventure click on one and go kind of one storyline so um the the possibilities with this i mean mean, everybody probably says that but the possibilities really are endless but we we aim to inspire people to build using charge particles these new unique use cases uh with nfts um, and these fungible tokens, so like the intermixing of the two. So that kind of leads us into Particlon. We've partnered with Vasi to do this first generative drop, and it's um, it's an NFT drop that each Particlon NFT comes with utility tokens inside of it. So every time you hit mint, it is the full power of a generative drop, it's aesthetically really, really freaking cool. We have the community and all of the gaming and metaverse uh, aspects that we're building out. So there's all of that. But behind it, it's actually using charge particles and filling each one of those NFTs with a utility token that will be used within the ecosystem. So it's a, it's a really, really cool use case of this new generative drop, having the tokens uh, all containerized within that NFT from day one. And uh, I mean, ultimately, charge particles were a protocol that is meant to be built on, and and Particlon is just a, a great example use case of what could be possible in terms of charge particles and generative drops. Now, there are a handful of other people like combining DeFi with NFTs, where you can put the DeFi locked in the non fungible token. Let's get in the weeds. How is charge particles unique? Yeah, or, or different. Yeah, sure. So um, a lot of these use slightly different mechanisms. So, I mean, there's more than one way to skin a cat, right? I mean, I can issue you an NFT that allows you to claim tokens uh, from a vesting contract. It's just a token gated uh, claiming. We're actually putting that smart wallet in that NFT, that the NFT has a smart wallet. So everything is all containerized within that NFT. So that's the secret sauce. Um, so there's no there's no oracles. There's no um, uh, there's no other dependencies. It's all containerized within that NFT that owns that smart wallet. Me as like a regular regular guy, regular retail user, I have this Particlon NFT now. Do I need to do anything to access this functionality? Yeah. So good question. So um, we've built the window, the manage function. So you go to app.charge.fi. You can see any NFT you have that you want to put tokens inside of, but you can also see the NFTs that you have that have tokens inside of them. So Particlons do have NFTs or do have tokens inside of them. So on our dApp, you can add more tokens to your NFT. You You can pull out those put tokens, the utility token that's inside of it. Um, and do whatever you want. And, and again, this is like the fundamental building block. So Particlon in the future, uh, Vazi is really going hard and building out this gaming aspect and the metaverse events. They've got a ton of big name talent that signed for, uh, I think the first metaverse event is late May. So these things are going to happen. You, you have this valuable NFT anyways, but with the gaming aspect, say, uh, uh, say that this utility token is used for a future drop. You get this weapon, say, 
if you deposit that weapon inside of your Particlon, maybe it impacts the uh, the attributes of your Particlon NFT. Maybe it gives it a little bit more power within that game. Maybe if you stake a certain amount of tokens and time lock them within your Particlon, that gives you some other a uh, aspect within that ecosystem. These are all the things that we've been teasing out for a long time. And Particlon really allows us to double click on the, that gaming aspect. Um, We've segmented it into guilds. Uh, we have a number of like our gaming guild is super freaking awesome. We've got all these um, all these interesting use cases for gaming built using charged particles. Um, and this allows us to like innovate directly with Particlon um, as well as all the cool stuff that's happening from our gaming guild. What does what does success look like for charged particles as well? as Particlon in five years? Is it the exact same software just with the whole ecosystem of users or how does that look? Yeah, great question. Well, with Particlon, I mean, it's very much a NFT drop that's powered by charged particles. So we see this as, as an example for what you can do using charged particles. And we've taken a lot of ownership with it, driven a lot forward because it is the first generative drop using charged particles. But with that, I mean, the, the metaverse side, the in real life events, this Particlon will be the Genesis pass for future drops. Vasi's really cooking up a lot of really awesome stuff, um, especially in gaming. So I think the success uh, arc there is slightly different than um, charged particles. Um, but, but for there, it's just, uh, creating a lot of value for Particlon holders, whether it be through IRL or metaverse events, um, and really teasing out, building out this gaming ecosystem all centered around Particlon. And then obviously future drops, Particlon Genesis holders get preferential treatment for all of that. So it's really the, uh, the crown jewel of like that whole ecosystem. And then with charged particles, I mean, our, our vision is that all NFTs can hold any other token. So it's quite diverse. Um, so uh, focusing on like being an NFT protocol as a whole, uh, our API and SDK go live in the next couple months. So this will allow more ease when building, using these charge particles, building blocks and really enabling NFT composability. I mean, we, we have people from our music guild and gaming guild, uh, building on top of charge particles already, but it's, um, it's like. I guess you can't say, you shouldn't say hacky really, but, uh, you, you know, kind of taking these things that um, we don't have an API and SDK. So it's using what exists, um, kind of finding workarounds to make it work. So API and SDK will more easily allow charge particles to be this protocol, this NFT protocol that's everywhere. So really enabling the, the, the convergence of DeFi and fungible tokens all with the NFTs. Okay. As we're uh, kind of like getting to some of the more final questions, I understand, you know, gaming, I understand how that's going to work. What did you mean by music? And are there any other verticals that are, you know, people can look forward to? Yeah. With charged particles or Particlon or both? Yeah, I guess both. Yeah. Well, music with Particlon. So Vasi uh, has a lot of deep, um, deep experience with entertainment. So the, uh, the metaverse events, the first one will be late May, and uh, we've partnered with Monaverse, which is an awesome, awesome uh, metaverse. We've got some big name talent signed up for that. So Particlon uh, NFT holders obviously get preferential treatment, VIP access, all the things. Um, so that that's basically what that means. More, more of those metaverse and in real life, eventually events um, with big name artists that they're working with anyways. Um, and then with Charged Particles, I mean, our music guild, uh, the one I'm uh, talking about in particular is Unchained Music. So they actually just um, closed their seed round not too long ago, but they're using Charged Particles basically as an account management. So each artist has their own NFT with funds inside of that NFT invested with different ways. So it's like I mean, you can have an entire DeFi investment strategy all containerized within these NFTs. So for account management, when I'm managing on behalf of all of these different people, having it 
containerized within these NFTs in my wallet is a is a good way to segment it and 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 keep track of things from an accounting perspective. And being live on Polygon, you can you can do this thing, uh, which which is quite gas intensive, at next to no cost um, to set it up and maintain it. Awesome. Final questions, Aaron. Yeah. Well, what else can we talk about, Ben? Uh, what's uh... What didn't we cover? What does the audience need to know? Yeah. So, I mean, you're kind of circling back to how to get involved. Um, yes. Charge Particles is a community of people that are very interested in pushing the limits of, of NFT technology. So, like I said, I mean, we have the API, the SDK. So this is very developer friendly. If you're a developer, like come join our Discord, uh, join one of these guilds and, and start strategizing on building the next really interesting thing in the space. But also for non-devs, um, we do want to make this much more user friendly. Um, we do have a number of products that we're developing that, that would be a lot more user friendly for people to use um, around the idea of bundling and unbundling. This is like the, the story arc of the internet. So we're the, the protocol to enable that. But just would highly encourage people to follow us on Twitter, jump in our Discord. Um, and because it is such a broad protocol, you can probably find like a little niche or a group of people that are pretty passionate about the same kind of vertical you are. And uh, you likely can add value just by being helpful and jumping in. Outlook for Bitcoin and Ethereum going into end of year. What do you think? End of year this year, honestly, I have no idea. I mean, I'm, I'm hyper bullish long term. I think there's some macro uh, factors that are pretty uncontrollable and you know, the correlations tend to go to one when um, when things shit hits the fan a bit. So um, I don't know. There's a lot of externalities. I'm I'm bullish five years, like super bullish next year and a half. Um, there's a lot of macro noise that could make this thing go up and down. But like the good thing about that is reframing a bit. And if you're longer term bullish, these um, drawdowns are, are buying opportunities to like kind of increase your stack anyways. Um, so maybe that's a good way to think about it for people. And do you think that Ethereum will maintain its position among all other L1s? Um, do you think that Ethereum will eventually flip Bitcoin or do you think that Ethereum will be flipped? What are your long-term thoughts on the market? Man, good question. Um, yeah, I believe in a multi-chain world. I think that um, all of these alt L1s kind of have their pros and cons. I do think Ethereum will continue to kind of lose a bit of market share for different use cases, um, but the whole space overall is growing. I'm I'm pretty darn bullish uh, and a bit of a Ethereum maximalist at this point, but it's probably just because that's where I spend all of my time. Um, uh, yeah, and then in terms of like flipping Bitcoin, possibly, I mean, Ethereum is much more useful. It's much more like, you know, it is this malleable protocol that you can build with and do all of these these crazy cool things with. And um, But it's a bit of follow the money. So you have a couple more sovereign nations adopt Bitcoin in a, in a meaningful way. I mean, that's, that's a lot of capital coming into the space. And they want Bitcoin. They want to hold Bitcoin as this digital store of value, this digital gold. Um, and that 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 narrative hasn't quite changed with um, Ethereum yet. So I think with what we see with the merge, we'll we'll see how that kind of narrative changes a bit. Um, I think that the internet bond, you know, you could almost meme that into existence being much bigger than uh, uh, Bitcoin. Mm-hmm. Ben, thank you so much for being candid. Hey, if any of us knew the future, we'd all be rich. Uh, I encourage your whole audience to follow Ben on Twitter, check out Charged Particles, check out Particlon, linked below. Ben, final thoughts for the Altcoin Daily audience. It's great great to finally be on this show. Big fan of you guys' uh, channel and all that you do. I know little, I don't know if the audience knows it, but you guys are great humans as well as like fantastic interviewers on your channel. So keep doing what you're doing, man. We all appreciate it. Appreciate that, man. Hey, if you guys stayed till the end and are still listening, let the other people know that there's kind words at the end. But anyway, Ben, thanks so much for coming on. I'll let you go. Um, keep you on a radar and have a great day. Thank you, sir.